Now, it's becoming more rare, but it can still happen. Your charging cable, UMC, supercharger, Chanimo adapter, J1772 adapter, could potentially get stuck in your charge port. Same thing like when you try, if you tried pulling on it while it's actively charging. Why is this? Because inside here, there is a locking pin right down there. Focus. Well, we don't want to focus. Well, that pin is what keeps people from unplugging you while you're charging or walking off with an expensive UMC uh, or Chatimo adapter or your J1772 adapter. But if your adapter gets stuck into your charge port, what are you to do? Because you cannot drive, the car will not let you drive if there is an adapter or cars plugged in in any way, shape, or form. Well, thankfully, Tesla, along with the new motorized charge port doors, these new charge ports include a manual release lever, which would have been really nice on my old car, because the Chatimo adapter got stuck once, and after an hour at 3 a.m., uh, and someone getting arrested on the street corner, I had enough. It was a very dangerous area. I finally gave up and took a screwdriver to pry it out. So, got night vision on there. You get into your trunk of your Model S, uh, pretty much the same on a Model X. Can't comment on a Model 3. Remove the little carpeted flap. And there are the internals of your charge port. You have the two high voltage cables, orange. Um, that's used for both the AC and the DC. And what we want to look for, and it's good to look at this before you actually need it, so you're prepared when you do, if you do need it. This little lever down here, while you can move it with a finger, it's a little more difficult just due to the placement. Uh, grab a pen, a key, anything. And you just give that. That's it. Switch to manual focus here. There we go, much better. And that's it, you just put it in there. Hold it while, while somebody else, or reach over the side and pull that cable out. Now, because the servo in mine's actually working, it's trying to relock it for us. Uh, so it's a little hard to demonstrate, but it does work. And that will release uh, the locking pin just as uh, just as if you it was working mechanically properly how it's supposed to. So that's it for today's tip and more to come. Please don't forget like and subscribe, which helps keep me making videos for all of you. Mm -hmm.